Hey, keeping an eye on your money, the state of Utah is sitting on a lot of cash, more than a billion dollars in what's called a rainy day fund, and roughly the same amount in extra tax revenue. But where's this money actually being spent? Could it help people struggling to make ends meet? Daniel Woodruff has the answers in this Eye on Your Money investigation. Sometimes it's sunny. Sometimes it's cloudy. And sometimes it just rains. Rainy is how Mark Smith describes the last year trying to run his business. Tasty's Cafe and Mobile Catering in West Valley. The whole entire last year has been rainy ever since the inflation really took over. He feels it painfully. Everything is more expensive. It's unbelievable what, a, what an egg costs right now. At home in Mill Creek, 80-year-old Elizabeth Crofts feels it too. I won't pay the price if I don't like it. With higher gas prices over the last year, she's cut back on driving, opting instead for the train. It's expensive, and I don't want to... I don't want to spend it, <laughs> so I just drive less. A lot of us can relate to this feeling of just having less money with high inflation, except maybe the state of Utah. The state has billions of extra dollars thanks to strong tax revenues. What would you say to those out there who are struggling to make ends meet in inflation yeah. and look at the state and wonder why are you sitting on so much cash? Yeah, well, I, I would say you're, you're, you're right. Governor Spencer Cox says that's why he proposed a billion dollars in tax cuts. But he adds, having extra money isn't a bad thing. And all that means is we have more than we had last year, right? And, and we should have more because we have more people that live here. The state also has what it's called a rainy day fund, currently sitting at $1.3 billion. We've used it very seldom. It has been used. Senate President Stuart Adams says it's only for emergencies, like a budget shortfall, not for anything else. You have a water heater go out or something else, you ought to have some money in reserve to take care of it. And that's what we have, and that's what it's for, and I'm glad we have it. But seeing the state sit on billions is hard for people like Mark, whose business is struggling to stay afloat. And I know exactly what they can do with some of it. What's that? They can get rid of the food tax. He says that would have an immediate impact on his business and his customers. Because there's not one single thing that hasn't gone up in price, and some of it has gone up ridiculous. Some took a little longer than others. But I took that question about the food tax to House Speaker Brad Wilson. Is food tax in any way part of this session, or is it not? Yeah, everything's still on the table. He says removing the tax on food is complicated when it comes to funding, since the state constitution mandates where some of that money must go. But House Majority Leader Mike Schultz says discussions are going on right now to change that and put the question to voters. Well, our goal is to get it past this session that it would go on the 2024 uh, ballot. So that's, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're hoping for. So we'll see what happens. Others have called for more money for housing or homeless services or health care. Certainly there are a lot of needs across the state and lawmakers with the power of the purse are deciding right now which ones will rise to the top. All in favor say aye. Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.